week, the legendary Bill Shankly arrived at Anfield from Huddersfield Town. The transformation of Liverpool Football Club into a mighty force became his life's work. He brought belief to the players and turned the ground into a fortress. The Shankly Gates, inscribed with the legend, you'll never walk alone, stand as an appropriate tribute at his beloved Anfield, where players from his era gathered to celebrate the anniversary before the match against Coventry City. Men like the England manager Kevin Keegan, who paid this tribute. He changed my life. Um, I met him. Um, he signed me from Scunthorpe for £33,000 and he believed in me. And uh, he told me, almost after about, I think it was three or four weeks, he said, you're going to play for England, son, you know? And, and I knew I would, because uh, if he believed in you, um, and he thought that of you, you had to do it. Shankly's achievements have become part of football's folklore, but his greatest legacy to the club was the pride he instilled. It's those everlasting values of pride and belief that Gerard Houllier feels the current team must live up to. In a short space of time, albeit aided by £30 million, Houllier's French Revolution has given the club new heart and a work ethic that emulates the past after the club's decline in the past decade. It's been slow coming, but after an indifferent start to the season, Houllier's message is getting across to the players. They're starting to believe in his technical and tactical knowledge, and they're now lying fifth in the league after six wins in seven games, the last against Sheffield Wednesday. So to Anfield for the match against Coventry City. The fans and the heroes of the Shankly era stood to remember the man who brought glory to the club. The present Liverpool side hoping they could live up to the celebrations and continue their improvement. Michael Owen, 20 this week, looking to silence the critics this season but already destined to become one of those Anfield heroes. Patrick Berger returned for Liverpool after missing two games with knee trouble. David Thompson was back after serving a suspension. The Reds now with the best defensive record in the Premiership. That's something Robbie Keane wanted to undermine, the Coventry striker with 10 goals so far this campaign. But Coventry still suffering with defensive problems. Paul Williams passed a late test, but Richard Shaw and David Burrows missed out again. The Sky Blues yet to win away this season. With nostalgia in the air at Anfield, commentary came from Jerry Harrison. And it's Coventry and the Sky Blue to kick off. And despite those five consecutive wins here at Anfield, not an easy time for Gerard Houllier's Liverpool to be compared with Bill Shankly's great teams. Although it is worth remembering that when Shankly joined in 1959, Liverpool were in the second division and had just been knocked out of the FA Cup by Worcester City. Not until 62 that Liverpool got promotion to the first division. Thousands of stories about Bill Shankly, of course, his most famous statement. Some people think that football is a matter of life and death, but it's much more important than that. He was also once asked if it was true that on his wedding night he took his wife to see Carlisle United. He said it was untrue, it was Carlisle United Reserves. Anyhow, we digress. 1999, this is a half-decent Liverpool side aiming again for the Shankly Heights. Busy so far without being particularly spectacular. This is Matteo up for Berger. And Paul Williams penalised there by referee Andy Durso. Well, Liverpool have got a strong squad, but not strong enough to cope with too many injuries. Berger just back, and Redknapp will be out for some time. This is Thompson with the kick. Well, it's a good save by Marcus Hedman. David Thompson, under 21 England international, good free kick. Just clearing the wall, that was definitely on target. Great save. Coventry making it difficult for Liverpool, as you'd expect, but Berger has certainly got the taste for battle. Up to Kamara. Now, break is definitely on. Thompson flying down the right-hand side. They're all piling in there for the cross. Well, it's a bad one. Here's Owen. Oh, and he makes a mess of it. Good break, rotten cross. Owen almost made something of it. Then, egg on his face. 
We're not at all sure what Thompson's problem was, but he's lasted not much more than half an hour. It's a cross whipped in for Kamara. Another good save by Hedman. And Kamara again. He recovered very quickly there. He'd have been lucky to get that second one in, but the first header was a good one. Lively customer. Berger wins again. A man. Wide out here is uh, Matteo. In for Owen. That's a good turn. Oh, he's in and scores. Michael Owen, a memorable goal. That's the old Michael Owen, all right. His first goal at Anfield since his injury. That's nine months, but a quality goal as he beats Bream and Hedman. 1 0. Well, Coventry haven't been outplayed by any means, but so far, nothing much of Robbie Keane and co. It's a poor clearance by Hoopier. McAllister is Chipo. Now Palmer bashing his way through, deflected and saved this time by Vesterveld. Hardly a clear side of goal, but forced his way in and caused trouble. And there's a good save. The Gordon Strachan side played some great football here last year, if I remember, and lost by a couple of goals. Here's Hadji. Oh, and Whelan's got it. Great block. Now that was Coventry's best chance and Vesterveld's best save. Excellent cross from Hadji. Matteo misjudged it. Whelan didn't, but the Dutchman thwarts him. Straight to Kamara. Turn. Oh, and straight in. Tini Kamara. Didn't seem to be anything on there at all. The defender got too close. He turned him, and what a finish. Another memorable goal for the big occasion.